hi guys welcome back to my channel um in today's video we will look at um some of the barriers um uh, barriers to m-commerce adoption and specifically we'll look at why should a business consider adopting m-commerce or why should they not adopt m-commerce so the first barrier that we will look at is the perceived costs and with the perceived costs it's better to look at it from the context of the costs and benefits associated with your organization so what are the benefits that you are bound to get if you adopt m-commerce and what are the costs that you are bound to face if you adopt m-commerce as a business and if your benefits outweigh the costs then it makes more sense for your organization to adopt m-commerce but then if the costs are way too high um or they outweigh the benefits then just don't adopt m-commerce at all for example um you might want to look at um maintaining the platform the website if it yeah maintaining the application actually the governance associated with that the infrastructure things like that getting the it people to uh, to actually design the website for you so as a business you'd have to look at all those costs associated and then you look at the benefits that you're bound to get in the long run and then make a decision based on that The next barrier that we will look at is the perceived risks and here uh, it relates to both the customers and the business. So with the customers, customers are very much hesitant with um, providing their credit card details or their bank account details simply because um, they don't know if they can trust your, um, your, your platform, they don't know if it's secure, they are afraid what would happen if their credit card details get stolen, what if their account um, gets compromised and things like that. Um, and for the business, um, um, you need to think about what would happen if the site becomes unavailable or if you create an m-commerce platform but the users are unable to get it to do what it has to do and things like that and you have to have mitigation plans in place to make sure that when people um when risks like that or like uh uh problems like that arise then the mitigations uh, uh, in place that are going to counteract or to solve all those issues like for example you could have privacy policies governance policies um, and things like that lack of technology knowledge um, this is a very um, well-known barrier to a lot of technology adoptions but basically a lot of small to medium sized enterprises or businesses might be hesitant or uncomfortable with adopting m-commerce simply because they don't know much about it or um because they just had other companies or big companies talking about it so they might be like mm, we don't know if the, that would work in our organization we don't know how uh, to go about adopting it and things like that and for the customers as well a lot of customers especially if your customers are from rural areas or they are not um they are not that literate or they don't know technology that well they might be hesitant with using your m-commerce platform even though you adopt even though as a business you have enough knowledge about it if your customers can't use it or don't know how to use it then it's as good as not adopting the platform itself So sometimes businesses may be hesitant with adopting um, m-commerce applications simply because adoption of those applications brings a lot of change in the business strategy and processes so for example you might need to change the way your business operates the way you advertise everything your marketing strategies how you retain your customers how you establish customer loyalty and things like that so that's a whole a uh, bunch of change within uh, with a very sh within a very short space of time so a lot of companies may be hesitant because of that and they're just comfortable with doing things the way they are doing it and if they're and if they're generating a lot of income then they might feel like um, the changes that are about to be brought upon by adopting m-commerce are just way too much that um, it's just better if they continue the way they are doing
Um, the next barrier is basically customer trust and confidence, which is more or less related to the money related issue that we are covered under perceived risk. But with customer trust and confidence, they just you can have some uh, mitigation plans in place or certain measures that you can implement um, to ensure that um, to establish that level of trust and confidence um, to customers. So for example, your website could have positive customer reviews, but for, for you to have positive customer reviews, your customers must have experienced um, using your platform and actually having a positive experience towards it. You could have a professionally designed website. You could make your website easy to use. Um, you could create things like privacy and policy return policies um, to ensure that. And you can also ensure that your website is just always available at all times. Sometimes um, businesses may just be hesitant with adopting um, M-commerce application simply because they are unaware of the benefits associated with that adoption both from the customer perspective and the business perspective so you need to ensure that if you want to adopt an M-commerce application then that application has to benefit both the customers and you as an, as an, as an organization so for example um, you need to make sure that your customers are actually going to benefit more from buying online as, as compared to coming to the store physically. So think about COVID regulations and everything. So in times like this, it's more beneficial for customers and the business as well to, uh, to get customers to buy from them online. And sometimes it could just be because of lack of external pressure from different situations. So for example, think about COVID again. If COVID didn't happen at all, then a lot of businesses wouldn't have adopted um, their online delivery stores. They wouldn't have adopted certain online um, applications that they're currently using in order to ensure that um, they limit the spread of COVID-19. Schools wouldn't have adopted online learning as well. So it's things like that. If situational factors are absolutely absent or they're just uh there there is a lack of external pressure um for maybe customers from service providers factors such as COVID-19 then businesses may just not they may just continue the way they're doing and not adopt um any um, commerce applications and those are the barriers that we'll cover in this video um i hope you guys found this video very helpful please don't forget to comment share like and subscribe and if you know of any other barriers that may um inhibit or stop m commerce adoption then just leave them down in the comments below so other people can like learn more but thank you very much for watching please don't forget to comment share like and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video